All right, we're going to create a site. We're going to start with the marketplace here, and I'm going to choose this fitness blueprint, and we're going to give it a site name. Evolve GT is the site we're going to create, and now the system is creating the site. Now we can see the site is created. It's got some default content, and we're going to just start by editing it. Now I've sped this up a little bit so you don't have to watch me type, but you can see just how easy it is to point and click on content that you want to change and edit it. You can also get to forms and we're going to use that to change a video here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. We'll choose the video, let that upload, and then save the content. And here we go. We can see that video playing in the header now. This is a good example of just how important in-context preview is. You can see just how beneficial it is for an author to see what their content's going to look like in the experience that they're building, no matter what technology the system is built with. All right, let's move down to the overview section now, and we're going to update some assets. So I'm going to use the new asset panel and drag a couple assets from that asset panel. And you can see just how easy that is. We can also upload things directly from the desktop, and I've tried two different images here. I like this one. Now we're going to edit some more content and here you see the difference between editing content where the styles are controlled by the style sheet or editing content where content is controlled and styles are controlled by the rich text editor where authors have some degree of control over things like bold, italics and so on. Moving on to another section here, let's go ahead and update the head and the subhead of this section and we're going to get into managing some of the images here. And In this case we'll click on the edit pencil which will give us the form which is great because we can now edit things like the alt text and so on about the images and this gives us a little bit more of the configuration and options behind digital assets. Of course you can see here we're updating the text on top of the image so again using different types of editing depending on the things that we want to do and you can see just how many different types of options for editing content authors have and they can use the ones that are best for them. And since this section is made up of a bunch of similar elements, let's go ahead and complete these by repeating that same process that we did before. We'll pick our third image here. And now let's go back and update the text on top of each of these cards. I love how simple it is. We just tap, edit, and we're done. So we get uh, Gabe's title there, and then we'll go back, edit uh, the name here for Brett, and then edit this card here and put Gabe's name in there as well. All right. That's looking good. All right, now what if we want to move a section? Well, we just grab it, pick it up, and move it. That's all there is to it. Once we've moved it, let's go ahead and update this one as well. And let's change it from a newsletter sign up to a sign up and sign in. Now, there might be a section that we don't want. So if we don't want a certain section, we find it, pick it up, and simply drag it over and drop it in the trash can, and it's removed. And then we can continue to go on and edit. So here, again, I'm just trying to edit different types of elements of the site. So you can see how the editing tools are interacting with the site's features. And you see just how easy that is. Now we've removed some content, let's add some new content. Maybe I want to add a section on training, so I'm going to grab an overview and I'm going to drop it. And this time, you can see there's a lot of different fields in this content, so I'm going to use the form to edit the content because I can see all the fields at once and that kind of makes it easy as well. So we'll add some content on training, add a little bit of a body here and a quote. And now we're going to save it, preview it, and now we can copy fit it. And the experience builders in context editing tools are perfect for that. So we'll go on and make a couple minor tweaks and then scroll back up to the top here. And let's turn off some of these tools so that we can actually see what the site would look like in the full desktop here. And we'll scroll down now and check out the parallax functionality that the blueprint gave us along with the content that we've added in just a short amount of time. We were able to do a lot of things here and see what it looks like on the desktop. Now let's go back to the editing tools and we're going to open up the device simulator and see what our work looks like on the smartphone as well and make sure we like what we see here before we go on to publish this content and make it live.